What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Olds TV. This is the Umadigi Bison Pro. It goes for about 160 to about 210 bucks, depending upon which version uh, you get. This version is the four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. There's also an eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Let's just go through some real basic specs about this real quick. So you can see it's rated the IP68 and 69K. So it's, it's water resistant, but then it also can uh, handle like extreme water pressure pointed at it. Military standard 810G. It's a really heavy duty phone. It's also 6.3 inch display, full HD plus 5,000 milliamps, two independent uh, customizable buttons. It has a thermometer built into it, which is kind of crazy. It has the MediaTek Helio G80, 18 watts of fast charging. You can get up to eight gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage. It has Android 11, NFC, Google Pay, 48 megapixel camera. And uh, you know, it's just an interesting phone to say the least because it has a lot of features on here that a lot of people would probably want on their phone. It's a really, really heavy duty case. Like you can just see this. It has cooling built into it, active cooling. It's pretty crazy. Like seriously crazy uh, phone. It has a lanyard. Uh, th attachment thing at the bottom you can attach a lanyard to this so with that said let's uh you know look at the phone at this point so this is the box that it comes in there you go inside the box you get a little how-to guide and then you also get a usb-c cable and your 18 watt charger on the right side of the phone you get your volume up and down you get your power button you also get your uh, customizable button that you can customize in the settings at the bottom you get your USB-C charging port. On the left-hand side, you get another customizable button, your fingerprint sensor, and at the top, you get a headphone jack. On the back, you see you got a few cameras on the back there. Doesn't really have that much of a camera bump, a little bit, but the whole phone kind of just sticks out. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then on the front, you have, it looks like it has a case on, but it really doesn't. Has a little cutout for the camera at the top. And that's, like I said, that's pretty much it. Um, fingerprint sensor, it's weird because it's on the left side. But with that said, I don't know. I have, it, you can see it, like, I have to always look where it is. I'm just not used to where it is, but it generally works pretty good. It's definitely not the best fingerprint sensor I've used. Um, but... I mean, at least at least it has one and it works like pretty, fairly decent. I'd probably give it like, I don't know, the placement of it I don't love, um, but ultimately you can see it works pretty well. Software wise, again, it runs Android 11 over to the left here. You get your Google feed. Swipe up, you get all your apps. Press and hold on your home screen, you get your widgets, your home settings and wallpapers. Swipe down, you got your quick toggles. And if you just look at this phone from a just a basic standpoint, it runs vanilla Android for the most part. It's a very clean vanilla, you know, vanilla type Android. There's not a lot of apps installed on here that you probably would want, like basically nothing. Um, I didn't install this, this Zilio app. I get that, whatever that is faster than text. I never used that app, but that app's installed. Let me see if you can uninstall that. Doesn't look, let's see. Yeah, you can. So you can just uninstall any apps. It looks like that they put on here. On here, uh, oh, di I did a Geekbench score. Let me just check that out real quick. Uh, it didn't get an amazing score, but whatever. It, the, you can see the phone runs pretty good. It's got a score of uh, 350 on the single core and 1289 on the multi core. So very, very low scores. Going into the settings, again, vanilla Android to the gills on here. You don't get a lot of customization on here. You do get your smart assistant which you can come in here, you can change uh, system navigation from the navigation buttons, the gesture buttons, the two buttons, the three buttons. You can do three finger gestures on here to split the screen. You got a screen record, emergency rescue, glove mode. This is gonna win on. Uh, mode is triggered by uh, sliding the screen with gloves on. So you can use gloves with this, just regular plain old gloves. You got your navigation bar, you can change that up and add buttons if need be switch these buttons around you also have that smart key button like I was telling you and it tells you which each one does so this is the the smart key one and this is smart key two and you can come in here and do certain things on here so if I wanted to I can have my like I right now have it so the thermometer opens or I can do the underwater camera so I can take advantage of that or pretty much any of these other ones or I can open up 
a specific application. So you can make it do some you know interesting things. Same thing with that. So I actually like having buttons on here, customizable buttons on phones. These orange ones, they come in handy when you when you when and if you you need it. You know. So speaking of performance, you kind of saw those numbers already. Uh, they were pretty low, but ultimately, you know, just navigating through this, it's not too bad. You know, there's a little, there's some slight lag when you look at something on here, you can see it's like the animation isn't perfectly smooth. When I open up Instagram, go through here, cycle through Instagram, go on Metal Jesus Rocks page. You can see it takes a little bit for it to load. It's on my Wi-Fi right now, but ultimately it's not, you know, it's not too bad for only having four gigabytes of RAM. It still works not too bad you can obviously do multitasking so you can come in here there we go so we have our multi window going on here so you can definitely multi window you can watch a video on one and social media on the other or shop and you know kind of do whatever you want to on the phone here's a little video we'll play a video on here so you can check that out my friend Michelle, uh, follow her, Michelle Midori on YouTube. Go subscribe to her channel, tell her Greggles TV sent you over there. But you can see the display is actually not too bad. I have it at about, let's see what I have it on for brightness. I have it at about 60%. Um, outdoors, it's going to be a little bit dim, but I mean, indoors, it's definitely going to get the job done. I would probably rock, I, I would usually rock this. It's just that I have it turned down a little because of the video, but ultimately, I, I, I rock this at about. 80% brightness to really get to the brightness that I personally am comfortable with. Um, but yeah, kind of a, not too bad of a screen for, for 200 bucks. I mean, if you just let me look at this, I would not think this is a $200 phone screen. We'll play some music real quick. Check out the speakers. So volume is actually pretty good. Um, it seems like it's it seems like it's only one speaker down here. It's kind of tinny sounding. Um, I've without a doubt heard worse speakers, especially on some some Chinese tablets uh, that I've done videos on. But uh, I don't know the sound on this. I'd probably give it a four out of ten. We'll check out some gaming on here. His uh, Super Mario Brothers on here. You can see it's running it pretty well. I never play this game, so if I'm awful, that's why. To see how good I am. Oh, oh, I did it. There we go. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's hard to look at the camera and uh, and do this at the same time. Make sure it's in the in the frame of the camera. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it seems to be running it pretty darn well for not being that uh, well of a benchmarking phone. You know, Geekbench, that's a, that's a pretty low score overall. I beat the level, wow, I did pretty well. Here's the camera software. It does have basically any feature you'd want from beauty mode. You got your video. Video on the front and the back is only 1080p, you can't do 4K. Pictures, you got portrait mode, you got extras, you got like night mode, panorama, pro, slow motion. So let me take uh, some photos and videos and I'll let you see what they look like. Here is the back camera, again, 1080p. How does it look, how does it sound? Versus maybe your camera that you have at home? Let me know in the comments down below. This is the front camera, 1080p. Let's see if it has any stabilization as I walk around. Sometimes you'll notice that phones when you get into the lower tier of pricing and just performance overall, overall they, a lot of them don't have uh, stabilization 
So for basically like 200 bucks, it's actually not that bad of a phone. The display is pretty nice. The speakers are doable. The performance, again, not that bad. Uh, enough storage for most people. You can put micro SD card in here, expansion up to 256 gigabytes upon you know that. And then you also have your headphone jack. So, I mean, there's things about this that aren't too bad. It's got crazy resistance to water and it's fairly rugged. And again, there's a lot to like about this phone. So if you wanna pick it up, I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.